Hey guys, it's iTalkApple, and this video is all about my little friend named TextEdit. That sounded weird. Anyways, TextEdit comes with every Mac, and most people don't really use it, and I use it all the time. TextEdit is a lot more robust than people give it credit for. So right now I have it in plain text mode, which is pretty much as simple as it can get. So the first thing I'm going to do, or show you I guess, go to Format, Make Rich Text, and right here you'll get this bar with styles, alignment options, spacing options, list options, and a ruler. Pretty much this video is just to show you things text that it can do. And we're going to start by going to the preferences. So I open that up by hitting command comma. We're going to select this wrap to page option. So now if I close this document and open a new one, I've got this border around where the page would be. Under options, just check pretty much everything off. I don't check data detectors because I don't really know what it is. So, um, And that's pretty much all we're going to do in preferences. So here's our document, and I'm going to show you some features. First things first, well, um, there's no font window over here. So all you have to do is go to Format, Font, and Show Font, or hit Command-T, and you'll bring up the font window. So just make sure you have that up. In case you ever want to change your font, it'll be right there. So I'm going to write, hello, my name is I talk app. So I can highlight this text, and I can change the font to say Helvetica New, Ultralight, and make it bigger. I really like the way this text looks. I want to make it a style, so I can access it from this drop-down menu. Highlight that text, go to Styles, hit Other, Add to Favorites, name the style. I'm going to name it the iTalk Apple 2 because I already have iTalk Apple over there. And include the font as part of the style. Hit Add. If I go to, say, some other random font and I start typing that, I can highlight it, go to my Styles palette, and hit iTalk Apple 2. And now it's in the same font and color as um, the iTalk Apple 2 style. So that's a nice feature to have. If there's some sort of formatting that you use option, you can add it to the styles menu. Um, lists is actually a nice feature in TextEdit. It's really useful for when I would plan out my videos. I would use this to kind of outline my videos. So let's say I have a list. Um, apple, banana, mandarin, pear, orange. Okay, so here's some fruits. and. First off, I'm going to change it to single spacing. Um, so I can highlight this and select like one, two, three, and it automatically numbers each item in the list. It's useful for outlining. Let's say I want to make a bulleted list. So let's call this one food. What kind of food? I can hit tab after hitting enter, and it'll indent it and add a dash. So let's say chicken pizza, pasta, yeah. Then I can hit enter again to go back to the bullet. So there are some basic outlining features in TextEdit that are useful. TextEdit also allows you to work with images and even audio and movies. So you can drag and drop any sort of file or go to file and then attach file. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop a screenshot so now I've got this image in here. Just to show you, I mean, it works fine. You can't do that much. You can't add any sort of effects like you would in Word or Pages, but it works. Some other really neat options with text. Say I have something. Hello, my name is I talk Apple. Okay, so I can highlight this text. Go to Format, Font, Kern, and I can tighten or loosen and this means changing the space between characters. So let's say I want to loosen. The shortcut for that, well, I can click it here. But the shortcut is Command, Option, and then the bracket. And it's the bracket on the right, more right, farther right on your keyboard. So I can just keep hitting this. And now the spacing between my characters is really large. So you can customize the way that your text looks a little more by changing the spacing. And if you want it back to normal, just highlight it, go to Format, Font, um, Kern, and then use Default. So now it's back to normal. TextEdit also supports superscript and subscript. 
So let's say you're typing something up for science and you want to type H2O, but what's H2O, but you want the two to be below the H and the O, subscript. You can just highlight the two, go to format, font, baseline, subscript, and now the two is in subscript, so it says H2O like it should look. A really useful feature is called transformations. So let's say I accidentally hit the caps lock key on my keyboard and I started typing something and I typed a really long sentence all in caps. Hello. Okay, so it's all in caps and I'm really annoyed and I don't want to have to type it all over again. Well, fortunately, you can highlight this, go to edit, transformations, and hit make lowercase. So now everything's in lowercase. Yes, text edit actually has support for tables. All you have to do is go to format and table, and now it automatically creates a table with two rows and three columns, but you can always um, make it larger if you want. So now I've got six rows, make it two columns, and you can type whatever. You can edit the table. So to edit it, just make sure you have the whole table selected, and you can change the color of the cell border to this darker, I guess midnight is what they call it. You can change the cell background to a color fill, make it like green if you want. So you can use tables and customize them in text edit. So let's say you're too cheap to buy pages or Word, you know, a real hardcore word processor, and you just have text edit, but somebody sends you a pages document. What are you going to do? Well, I have a sample pages document right here. I'll show you what it looks like. So here's what the document looks like in pages. I have an image with a reflection, got a table, a circle, a graphic thing here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like if I were to open this document in text edit. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, well, if you only have text edit, it should automatically open with text edit, but you can right click and hit open with and then hit other and then find text edit in your applications. Or if you already have text edit open, you can just drag the document into text edit's icon in the dock. And uh-oh, pages doc could not be open. The file isn't in the correct format. So what you're going to have to do is ask your friends whenever they make a pages document, go to file, export, and make sure that they export it as an RTF document, a rich text format or something document. Um, so I did that. And here's the document. So now I can open this in text edit. And as you can see, there's the document. It's kind of out of order. This image used to be up here, so I can move it back up. But it kept the reflection. It still has the table. You can still edit it. Here's the circle. When I double click on a circle, it actually opens up in preview. So it's kind of messy, but it does work. You can still open up pages documents in text edit as long as they're saved as the rich text format. So here's a Word document. And the problem is it doesn't work very well with Word documents. If you save a Word document in rich text format, this is what it'll look like. So it really only saves the text. It will save the text styles, the formatting, um, like colors, all that stuff, but images don't really work, tables don't really work. From my experience, I don't know, maybe you can make it work. Saving your text edit documents. Go to File, Save or Save As, and it will be saved as a rich text format with attachments. Another thing you can do is save it as a PDF. So I'm going to save as a PDF just to show you what it looks like on my desktop. Now if I open it, it'll open up in preview, and there it is as a PDF. Obviously you can't edit it or anything because it's a PDF. To end this video, I just want to show you some cool features. Um, I'm going to type something in text edit. I talk Apple makes really useful videos. You should subscribe. Okay, so I just typed something. This is called self-endorsement. Anyways, I'm going to highlight this text, go to edit, and then speech, and start speaking. What this is going to do is actually speak the text that I've highlighted.
I talk Apple makes really useful videos. You should subscribe. There you go. From Mr. Macintosh himself, I talk Apple makes really useful videos. You should subscribe. It's just a neat feature. Another cool feature is the complete option. So let's say I type the word imagine. If I go up to edit and then complete, it'll show me how I can finish this word. I can add a D to make it imagined. I can make it imaginers, imagined, imagines, you know. You can do this with really short words too, like um, R O T. Okay, so let's see what comes up if I go to complete. You'll get a very long list of words. I don't know. It's not that useful, but it's really cool. Maybe you'll learn some new words by doing that. Just one last thing, and that's got to do with going into system preferences. So let's say I type T-E-H instead of T-H-E for the, and I hit the space. It automatically corrected it to the. Let's say I type OMG. It automatically changed it to oh my god. If I open up system preferences and go into the language and text options, and then go to text here, you can add symbol and text substitution things. So common things like if you put C with parentheses, it'll automatically change it to the copyright symbol. Um, fractions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Um, but before you close out, I just wanted to ask you if you can, please leave it, leave me a comment below um, just saying what kinds of videos of mine that you prefer. So um, do you like when I make tutorials? Do you like when I make reviews, like application reviews or like product reviews? Um, I'm just curious because I want to put up videos that you guys really enjoy the most. And I enjoy making tutorials. I enjoy making reviews. Just let me know down below. That rhymed. Yeah. Um, also, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash italkapple. Uh, I have a blog, italkapple.tumblr.com. I also just created a DeviantArt account. Um, it's italkcreations.deviantart.com because italkapple is taken. I know, so sad. But anyways, um, and on DeviantArt I just post screenshots of like my desktop. Not that special, but who knows, maybe you want to see them. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I said that already. Comment like I asked, telling me what kinds of videos you'd like me to make best. Or if you have a suggestion for a video, because I'm always looking for those. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. That was the third time I said that. Oh my god. Goodbye. I will see you, or you will see me in my next video.